Butterflies. Yes, that's our branding now. We are the Bulletproof Butterflies. Just as if you follow me on Musical.ly now know. That's our, that's, that's our that's thing. That, that's a thing now. It's been a while since I just sat and talked to you guys. I've been really busy with stuff lately, as you can probably tell. But anyways, I have a bit of time today, and I am a little bit sick. I've not been the greatest the past couple of weeks, honestly, but I'm better-ish today, so we'll try to film this and get this going. Okay? Okay, question time. Can you do another makeup tutorial using brown colors? Yes, I can. The next question says, do you have fandom? Supernatural, Harry Potter, Doctor Who, P.S. I love you. I love you too. I like Stranger Things a lot. A fan, as in Dan and Phil. I like Dan and Phil. Emos, Crank That Frank. Also, you guys know, 21 Pilots, The Click, BTS Army, all that good stuff. The next question says, what brand of makeup do you use? For like foundation, it's really hard for me to find stuff that matches my skin tone. I started using Estee Lauder because my mom uses them and it matched. <laughs> for eyeshadow, I use one of my palettes is Revolution eyeshadow. Um, I think I have the Mermaid palette and I got some NYX eyeshadow the other day. I don't care what kind of mascara I have. And for eyeliner, I use L'Oreal. It's like a, one of those twist out pencil kind of things. And for lipstick, I got some NYX lip creams. Um, my mom gave me a bunch of old lipstick, which is mostly Clinique, and I've got some Estee Lauder. I got a lot of Estee Lauder stuff for Christmas because it's expensive and I'm not about to go buy all that, so yeah. The next question says, if you got to spend a day with 21 Pilots, what would you do? P.S. I love you so much. I love you too. I wouldn't want the day to revolve around me hanging out with them. I would just want to be there with them doing their daily things because that would make me happy. And you know, I could have conversations with them and stuff. The next question says, what's your favorite K-pop girl band? And I don't really have a favorite. I like the groups. Uh, I, I like Blackpink, I like Twice, I like uh, A-Pink, um, like, four minutes. The next question says, what is your favorite band? If you could meet anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? I overthought this way too much. See, I thought like plenty of alive people I could meet, but dead people, who would I meet that's dead? And then I immediately think of celebrities that we've lost in the past year, particularly to suicide. The thing is, the problem with how I thought of this first was like I could stop them, but it, the question is meet someone dead or alive, not go back in time to meet someone dead. I'm just, it's like bringing someone dead back to life to talk to them. It's not going to stop them from being dead. So... I don't know if I would want to meet anyone who has died in the past year. Cause that got really dark, oh my god. As far as people who are alive, I want to meet Tyler and Josh. I want to meet Nathan, NF. I want to meet, I'm just thinking of celebrities. Honestly, I want to meet you guys too. Uh, I want to meet my internet friends. I want to meet my boyfriend. I want to meet BTS, although that's probably impossible, but they're not an American group. When you come to America, there's no way you're coming to Alabama. Who comes to Alabama? Even if you are an American group, who comes to Alabama? The next question says, who would you rather date, Tyler or Josh? I'd personally choose Josh. Love you, Tori. I love you too. And neither. Surprising. I know. My first reason is Tyler's married. My second reason is both of them are over 10 years older than me. And my third reason is I view 21 Pilots as family. BTS is a different story, but Tyler and Josh, they're, they're very special to me in a way that they're my family. So, N neither of them. The next question says, what's your goal in life and where do you see yourself in 10 years? I love you. I love you too. My goal in life is probably just to make other people happy, I guess. In 10 years, I'll almost be 27. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be doing something with music, whether it's big or small. If anything, I could literally just write music for someone else who's a big star. Like, I wouldn't mind that. I don't mind 
if I'm not in the spotlight. I just want to do things that make me happy and I know can make other people happy. Even if people view it as it's that person's music, still, it's my, they're my words that that person is conveying to other people and it's still helping people and that's just my overall goal. So hopefully something with music that can benefit people. So yeah, Dan or Phil. Okay, you see, Dan is literally me. He's the kind of person that when I watch his videos, I'm like, okay, same. Phil is sunshine. Dan is the darkness of my soul. <laughs> it's like, how do I pick? Do I pick what relates to me or what makes me happy? I don't know, so. Um... The next question is, who is your BTS bias? <sighs> Sugar? Literally everyone else's BTS bias strikes me. Literally all of them. <laughs> Help me. Also, sorry if the lighting has changed. It's really dark and rainy outside and I have my laptop in front of me. It was natural sunlight and now it's my laptop. So I'm sorry for any of this weird lighting change. 21 Pilots for BTS, by the way, you're amazing. Thank you. And 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots feels like family. BTS does not. BTS to me feels like Probably because they're so freaking attractive. BTS is more like friends. The next question says, who's your favorite Christian artist besides NF and Skillet? When I was in elementary school, I listened to Brit Nicole so much. I still love her because her music is just so positive. I also like Red and Flyleaf and Firefly. Firefly recently released a single and it's great. The next question said, could you please do ASMR because your voice sounds so soothing? I get this a lot, that people say my voice is soothing, and I don't get it. Like, I don't, personally, I don't like my voice, like, talking or singing, I don't like my voice. I don't understand how my voice is soothing, like, if I'm, like, mumbling, I get that, which I guess would make sense for ASMR, but ASMR makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I also don't have the proper microphone for that kind of thing, I literally film on an iPhone, so... But uh, maybe in the far away future when I maybe have a proper camera, you never know. The next question says, I know I've asked you this before, but I want to hear it from you personally. Do you really love me? If you do, it means a lot. Of course I do. I love all of you guys a lot. It's given me a purpose to do things. So I love you guys for that. So of course I love you. Duh. <laughs> I'm your mother. Next question says, what's your favorite song from Lil Peep? And I miss him. I miss him too. Like I've done his songs on Musical.ly and stuff, but I've had a hard time just sitting and listening to his music without like just getting really upset. So I haven't just sat and listened, so I don't really know at this point. My like top favorites I've done on Musical.ly though, so like, and this, this question is from Musical.ly, so. If you see the stuff I do, those are most likely my favorites. <sighs> I don't like thinking about this. The next question says, who is your role model? And that would have to be Tyler Joseph and Nathan Feuerstein. I'm not saying I like Tyler more than Josh, but I do happen to relate to Tyler um, a lot more on some things. And despite the fact that they've become so big, they're still such humble and compassionate people, and if I'm ever in their shoes, I want to be like that, so. And I know just because he's, he doesn't sugarcoat things. When did you first start to do makeup? I think I was 12. I told my mom, a lot of the girls my age wear makeup, and I don't. I just randomly mentioned it, and she was literally just like, okay, let's go get some makeup. And I was just like, what? You have never responded so positively to anything I have ever said in my life. Would you rather meet Brenda Neary in person or Pete Wentz? P.S. I love you so much. I love you too. And hands down, Brenda Neary. I love Pete, but <laughs> thanks Pete. But you gotta love Brendan. The next question says, do you ship Yoonmin because they're literally my OTP? Um, okay, I'm not against, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not against shipping real life people. And don't also take this as me being a homophobe because I am not. It's not that I refuse to, it's just hard for me to ship people who are real life human beings. I involuntarily think like, oh, that's a human with emotions. Like they have their own life. That's 
That's them. Like Joshler. I don't seriously ship Josh or Tyler's married. They're just really good friends. But I'll jokingly and platonically ship it because it's cute, you know, stuff like that. So like, I'm not against it, but I just don't. I sh if I ship it, it's like platonically and jokingly. Next question said, what's your favorite song from No Fun Intended or No Pun Intended, however you want to say it. It's probably a three-way tie between Drown, Hear Me Now, and Time to Say Goodbye. The next question says, if you could have any two band singers collaborate with each other and make an album, who would you choose and why? I kind of, I think, I always thought it would kind of be cool for Panic and Fall Out Boy to make an album. What's your number one makeup go-to look? Um, probably this little to no eyeshadow and just winged eyeliner. <laughs> Nothing incredibly special. I'm almost out of time to film. Thank you guys for being patient with me. And thank you guys for watching. We need an outro based on the whole bulletproof butterflies thing, but that'll have to be another day. So I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.